Hello, so this is a video about how to do um, is get some of your settings on your Facebook group set as well as how you can go and get more people to come over and want to join your group and how you add them if you are friends with them. So this is just my regular Facebook stream right here. <coughs> Here, I actually have some of the groups I work with the most as shortcuts. So we are going to be working on this one. So first thing is first, once you have a group, you are able to create a identifying URL for your group. Standard for Facebook is it does facebook.com groups and then this long number right here, which makes it difficult for you to be able to tell people about your group. So you, what you need to do is you need to come over to the more button and you need to go to edit group settings. And you're gonna scroll down um, to where it says customize address. Here, you can type in what you want it to be. And then you would just hit customize address. And as you're typing, it will actually tell you if it's available or not. Like here, it says it's already assigned, so please try another one. But if you complete the name of your group, then it's it's available. One thing to pay attention to if you're creating a new group is to go and see if there's any other groups with that name. So that's how you do that. And then if you decide that you wanted to do social learning units, you do have to come in here and check it as well. And if you have people that are in other groups that you are part of, you can actually go in and have those pre-approved. Now, another thing that you probably have noticed is a lot of groups are now asking questions before they allow someone to um, join. And this is where you would actually um, ask those questions. Another thing too is post approval. This is something that I like. It can be frustrating if you have a lot of um, interaction in your group, but making sure that all the posts are being approved by an admin or a moderator is sometimes a good thing to do. And then when you're done, you just go ahead and you hit save. And then it will save and this link would actually change to groups forward slash the breakthrough cycle so that it's easier to find. But we're just going to copy this link and then you go back over to your Facebook um, feed and you go to explore and you hit groups. And here it's going to show you like some of your favorites. It's going to show you the ones that you manage. And then down below it's going to have all of these different groups that you belong to. So what I do, oops, that's the wrong one. As I go into one, I find one that is going to attract other people that are in the same niche or the people that are looking for groups that um, have to do with mine. So we will, and I belong to a lot, I gotta go through my groups because I belong to way too many. Um, So we could go to inspirational quotes, but you'll see here that it doesn't even give us an option to post. So that one wouldn't be a good one. <coughs> you could go to work at home champions. That one's been archived, archived. Um, network marketing professionals has been archived. Hmm. 
it's not, it didn't used to be this tough. It used to be a lot easier because they had a groups app that you could do it on your phone. And I just really liked it much better. So you could go into yard sale groups even to post it. So one thing to pay attention to is right here, it says start discussion, sell something, live video or more. So if you just come in and hit click in a yard sale group, it's typically going to pop up with the what are you selling box, but you just want to click on start discussion. If you paste your link in there, then it pops up like this. And then you could just type like, hey, I would love to invite you over to my group. We talk about self development. And then I always put like thanks in advance or anything like that. And that's it. And then you just hit post. And there it is. So now when somebody is looking at this and they see it, they can just click on the on the um, ah, or the, the post and it's going to take them right over to the group. Now, if I didn't belong to the group, it would pop up with just a few things and then it would say request to, or it would say request to join right here instead of joined. The other way that you can add people is you can enter their name or their email addresses. So let's see, let me go. I know that if you're friends with somebody, you can just click in and add them. And it's going to be, they'll, it'll invite that person over. Right? So there is that. And then let me see. Um, bah, 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 bah. I'm going to pull an email address because I want to see something. Let me do this. I want to know if, see, so then you can also send an invite by email. Just like that. Even if they're not your friend, because this is just an email address that I use for work that actually doesn't even have a Facebook page. So it will allow you to add people by email address. And then those people are automatically added into the group um, if they accept the invite. If they accept the invite, they'll automatically be added. And then for people that are coming through on the posts that you put in other groups, then um, they would have to request to be joined, a, to a request to join. Now, another thing that I like to do as well is that I make sure that I still have the link um, saved, well, the link copied, and then I go to pages, not, not those, sorry. So let's see if I can find a mindset page. So I just do mindset as a search, and then I hit pages, and you can go in and you can like the page. You can also put a post on the page as well. Um, sometimes what I like to do is when I'm looking at different pages, I like to go in and see if there's any comments. And I can like that and I could reply like, hey, I have a group about mindset. Would love for you to join. Here is the link. And then post it, hit enter, and it's right there. And it pops up again with the sort of the, the actual the image of the group and tells you it's closed and how many members. So those are the two things that I like to do when it comes to trying to get people to um, join my group or like my pages. I hope this helps. Thanks.